How's everybody doing today? So a lot of times when I'm talking, I'm always talking about how a lot of what I go through as a trader applies to all the various other aspects in life. And so one of those that I want to talk to, to, to you today about, if I can get out of my mouth, is risk versus reward. So risk and reward is actually a big part of trading. It's an important part. It's an important part of your trading plan is what they call a trading plan. It's just something that you follow um, when you're trading. And the way it works is, so before you take a trade, you should have a plan on what you're going to do. And part of that plan is having a risk versus a reward. So I personally feel part of any good trading plan you're gonna have a better reward versus whatever your risk is. So if I'm gonna be risking losing a dollar on a trade, I wanna be able to make at least $3 um, if the trade goes the way I want it to go, uh, which would be the reward. Well, this is, this, is, this is true in life as well. So a lot of people out there are not getting to where they wanna be in life because they're they're not taking the risk, you know. They're they're scared to take the risk. Keith, how's it going, man? And you know, I get it. You know, it's scary taking uh, a risk in life because it's it's the unknown. Um, you're comfortable. You don't want to lose what you already have. Jumping for something else that uh, you're not sure about. You want to try it. You want to do it, but uh, it's the great unknown. You're taking a risk. And I've talked about this before, you know, uh, Bill Gates, right? He constantly, let me think, is it, it's not Bill Gates, it's uh, Steve, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, he uh, constantly would remind himself that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna die one day. So what am I really risking at the end of the day, you know? And he's making these decisions that I'm sure are hundreds of millions, if not billion dollar decisions. You know, and, and here, you know, some of us are sweating over 10, 20, a couple hundred dollars. He, he's making, you know, he, he doesn't have to do anything, right? The guy said had hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. He, you know, he could go grab his mansion and just chill out and watch TV the rest of his life. But that's not how he chose to live his life. Instead, he would keep putting a lot of it on the line to advance. And thank God he did because look at what he really did at the end of the day for all of us, you know? Um, and so there's a quote from Nelson Mandela. Uh, there is no passion to be found plain small um, in settling for a life less than you are capable of experiencing. And, you know, a lot of people, too, I guess they, one of the things they mentioned, too, is, you know, the guys that are going for, you know, playing the sports and, and want to get to that next level and, and school and education, everybody's telling them, well, Make sure you get that uh, education so you have a backup plan. You got something to fall back up on. And the uh, motivation I was, talk I was listening to this morning, they just ripped that apart. You know, backup plan, that that's the worst thing you can do. You know, you, you, you know the only thing you should be falling back on is your faith. You know, if, if and, and the guy said, if I fall, I want to fall. You know, that's it, you know. And and that's, that's, that's part of going through things. And, uh, you know, there's the other saying, uh, about burning your boats, you know, the story of the guy that leads his army to shore to fight another army, and basically he has them burn their boat. So, you know, the only way they're getting back home is defeating that army and taking their boat. There is no backup plan. And a lot of times, you know, we use this. You, you really, in order to, if you're going to go for something, right, there's no dipping your toe in it. You need to go all the way in or just don't bother um, but anything, I guess my other point that I really wanted to make is anything great that you want to experience in life, you're going to have to take a risk in order to get the reward. Every single time I trade, right? I, I, I don't feel like I'm gambling, right? It's, 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 it's completely different. I've learned a lot uh, to what I'm doing and I've gotten to the point now that, you know, I know if I take 10 trades, I'm going to win you know, a minimum of three to five or more, right? And if I've got a one to three risk reward ratio, well, five times three is 15, right? So 
it's basically like winning fifteen dollars and risking five. I'm netting ten dollars, you know. As long as I stay on top of taking the right trades, you know, you you, you can't rush the process and take the wrong trades. But at the end of the day, you do it right, uh, you're gonna come out ahead, you know. But every time there is a risk in 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 in, in making a trade, and for you know, I've I've spoken to people that I know are completely interested in my opportunity but they're nervous, they're scared because there's the great unknown. And, you know, so they're hesitant to move forward because there's a risk involved there. And, you know, maybe it's not my opportunity, maybe it's something else, but I'm gonna tell you right now, my, the whole point of this is to hopefully encourage you to make that step and, and, and give it a try, go after it, you know? Um, on, your, on your deathbed, you're not gonna be regretting the things that you tried that didn't work out. It's gonna be the things that you never tried you never took took the attempt to, to see where it would go um you know so uh, a lot of us know you know reggie jackson is is hitting home runs you know all over the place well he also had the most strikeouts you know um everybody talks about thomas edison how many times did he attempt to make that light bulb you know he he, he didn't consider it a failure he just considered it another way um you know that it it not to light a light bulb or or whatever how he put it but but the the bottom line is the guy never gave up and where would we be if he did you know so there was there was also I wanted to look at some uh, some some bible quotes that you know I want to relate this to the bible as well as far as taking a risk so in uh, Matthew 25:29 for to everyone who has will more will be given and he who will and he will have an abundance okay but for the one who has not even what he has will be taken away. Um, so I kind of sound like I butchered that, but I think the point is, um, you know, get out there and, and, and give it a try, you know, and abundance will be given. But for those that are gonna sit there and try to play it safe, you know, you're not even gonna keep what you have. So um, if that's not encouraging. The uh, Joshua 1, 9, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Um, so, you know, you're, you're not in this by yourself. You know, you've, you're, you're not in this alone. Um, so if you, if you feel that there's something in you calling you to try something and do something, then do it, you know? Um, and that's really it. That's, that's my message today. So uh, hopefully I uh, motivated some people to get out there and try it. And if there are any of you that are interested in learning more about what I do and trading, um, I'll probably do a, another live here. I'll do, I'm going to try to do kind of a weekly update how my week went. You know, my weeks have been going great and I want to keep on top of getting that out there as well. So I'll probably do that here shortly. But uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a great day uh, and a great rest of the weekend. Take care. Bye.